for fun. These are your copies of the map. Some that you sent me. As I say, I gave one of them away. Well, I hope so. That's the idea. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see, see, the that. problem is that we publish the, the book so fast. Sure. I mean, it, it, it all happened so fast that there was no so way to book. put deadlines, anything. Deadlines, deadlines. And I insisted. So that little kind of pen drawing is the only map. Yeah, like, yeah. We could come up, you know, it never occurred to me that, well, you know, it's just my, my field that we could have taken a picture and put it in the inside of what you're thinking about today. But well, the, sure. Well, don't feel bad because everything has changed now. It used to be it would cost a lot of money to make something like that. Now it's really free. So is it really? It's uh, software really is no out problem. there, yeah. Gee. And you can get to too much a lot of stuff there. off the internet. Yeah, so it all was free off the internet. The key was having that map that you sent me of Ford Island that we'll take a look at in a second. That was the real key. And then plus just having a good story to tell with your book um, <laughs> doesn't ever hurt, doesn't hurt either. And I'm just going to jab this thing in here, although... You don't know what you're jabbing. Mm -hmm. Oops, I got a little light turn on here. Turn things off so it looks nice and neat for you, huh? Got a little much, Donald. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's too much. The interrogation line here. Okay. In fact, she was okay before we cut it. Oh, we don't need the light then. Okay. You might um, just put it way, way, way far back. Oh, the light would be correct right now. Yeah, it'd be fine. Sure, she's beautiful. You look beautiful. Do I really? <laughs> yes, you always do. I was trying to decide what kind of top to wear. What oh, does this stop boy. okay? What I'm wearing? That's right. Well, how was Mickey and the gang there last time you were at the... Well, Mickey wasn't there. Oh, was he in Hawaii then? No, he had been... He he got a free, another free trip first class to Hawaii. Oh, I would love to get one of those anyway. <laughs> now, Miss yeah. Earl, would, do you want me to kind of shoot you like this, or do you want me to zoom in, or like this, or do you like like this? What do you think, Denise? I think from the waist up is fine. Like this yeah, is pretty yeah. good, so you can kind of yeah. use her... Plus, I, that way she can show us the she, maps. She needs more head space, Donald. Huh? Right, 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 like that. Well, you could tip the camera up slightly. Okay. If you uh, want something thought. without a design on it, I can change top. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. We're okay. just trying to. I just tell him that I. Actually, it looks colorful, so I think it he always great. likes it to makes put. Face look he great. always likes okay. to put people's heads too close to the top, as far as I'm concerned. I do. Well, it's high definition. The DVD does kind of crop it more. Okay, so we are rolling. I think. Yeah, it's yeah, recording. We sure We've been recording. Okay, now then, I, let's see, I'll plug in a pair of headphones maybe, and I think we're ready to go. And then what we'll do is maybe just give you the map. I actually do have quite a few questions. Um, let's see, let's just pop this guy open. So I haven't seen the new version yet actually published. Oh, um, so which is the map that you sent for them? Well, His all I did was a make a few corrections, and we even have more corrections to go. If you want to enroll, really? we'll... Okay. This is costing you a fortune. Um, it's okay. It is not a fortune, but a little bit, but it's not that bad, actually. Uh -huh. We're comfortable. Um, does it, maybe Denise, uh, this should be off the record, off the video, but we'll have to cut this out. But Denise and I are real lucky. Um, I retired from Chevron on my own, and then... Mm -hmm. Um, I have like another two incomes after that. You so. found an oil field or something like that. That's right. Yeah, my dad did. His, my sister did. His family has an oil company. And here's like different colors we might mark stuff up with later, if that's okay just to drop those there. And you can pick up any color thing you might okay. want later. And uh, we know you, you're a teacher to explain all these things. And then, Am I um, allowed to touch them? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to give them all away and make more. These, this is, oops. No, this is the one that you mailed in. And, um, so who is it that's having the contest? Is yeah, it's a company called Esri. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a big, big, big company, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, they're big time, uh, again, yeah. just huge military contractors. You sure did a fine job with this, my God. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I am uh, they a like geologist it enough to... and a professional like cartographer person. I'm glad and, he fixed um, this. So why don't we kind of look at that together, and then I'll have you, we could draw on one of these if we wanted to. Well, I just have a draw on this one. That you're but, um, like, yeah, we could draw on that one if we wanted to, or I have some other things that we could, like, draw on um, for the little things that we need to say. Maybe we'll, we'll have, we have some simpler maps to do that. So, 
Um, for now, why don't I do the talking real quick, and I'll just explain what we're trying to do, Joan. Okay, no. Um, this is obviously, you kind of had this map in your book, mm -hmm. you know, and so all I did was digitize that um, Ford Island housing map that you gave me, which really helped a lot, because even though that map actually looked like it's maybe 1945. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's post-war, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So, um, I, so then I traced the stuff off of um, that map, and that's what we started with. And wow, the patient. this is what you gave me that really helped me so much. So this map was the key to doing this thing. Mm -hmm. So I digitized. I turned the thing upside down like you had your map in your book to mm -hmm. match it. Then I digitized all the buildings and I did a couple of passes because it was a little difficult to kind of see through all the trees and then see what was... Luckily most of them are all still here, right? Mm -hmm. There's only a couple missing. And um, so anyway, that's... And all this stuff is for free and then I put the ships in. So what I've done differently on this one is I kind of added some color here to make it look a little bit better mm -hmm. and I added the Vestal which was sitting right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's actually under here. There's actually a better picture of her mm -hmm. without all the smoke, but this one's so dramatic, I kept this one Yeah. Uh, for the seventh. And then here's the tenth, of course, and she's gone. There was actually one more little ship here, um, and I have that in my notes here somewhere. There was like a little, not really a tug, but like a garbage scow or something sitting right here. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other ships would be kind of off the map, like the Solance and... Solus was us. Off, off of this way, kind Solus of. Solus was, you know, the Solus was, where's the Admiral's quarters? Sure. The Solus was quarters right here. In, over in here. Admiral, There's your oh, quarter, Admiral like right quarters right, off right that there. Point yeah, there, huh? yeah, we watched the sure. Solus from that fort underneath the quarters. Yeah, and it was over right in here. The window, huh? Yeah. So that so that's what we should do now. Let's uh, maybe we should even do it off. Of, I think is this map we're comfortable with here, and we can. Uh, I have like a whole bunch of questions to ask you if that's okay. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Wants to make the final uh, polishing up so he can turn his map in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you'd already turned it in. Uh, I think it, you could do one more version, right? Yeah, uh, I have until the end of the week to turn in a, a final, final one. Oh my God. Maybe we'll, we'll do it. And you'll it say, a, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. <laughs> okay, and um, now I'm thinking maybe we really do want to draw on pieces of paper, though. So let me see if I can find the map I was looking for. Or better yet, you know what, let's draw on that giant one because I have extra, extra copies and that one does have an error where it really can't be used. And this one's perfect to pass out to kids though. Okay. And this one has a slight boo-boo, so, and plus with you drawing on it, it's, we're making something worthwhile. So, uh, yeah, and we'll get to the, to the Admiral's Quarters eventually, but to be honest, if, if you could, uh, uh, Joan, please, if you could maybe kind of... Uh, Pick out one of these pictures that you feel comfortable drawing on, and then we'll kind of say, "I was standing here when I looked out this way, and I was standing." And then I, w then we ran this way, th to the, you know, mm -hmm. out this door, and you know the whole story. And then, then the jeep guy drove us down this road right to mm -hmm. the, to the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And if you drew, wanted to draw that in there, just, you know, is if you'd like to, and then you can say you looked out this way towards this way. And I, I hate to even say it. You looked out this window, and then I guess there was a kid in Building S looking back at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. All that kind of stuff is just so neat. And if you wanted to draw that on there, I would, you know, draft it up for you, sure. And just any colors you like. And um, the other thing is, maybe I'll just kind of say everything at once, and then you can kind of draw stuff in. Like, where, which way was the water tower? Which way were the planes coming? I guess there was at least two planes you specifically wrote about in your book. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that stuff we could add onto this map and make it really personal. So thank you so much. Okay. Sure, can, just take your time. How can you, how can you look at this? Are, are you going to try and photograph me doing this? Both, yeah. Okay. Sure. But you don't need anything over my shoulder? You can see this? Um, I th well, I'll just have you draw on it, and I'm going to move the camera around. I think that's a good idea. Yes, ma'am. Sure. I just wondered. Well, that's on a battery. Okay. Yeah. That's a great idea. And that way, when you're talking, we can actually see your hand kind of moving to, to where you like. Mm. 
Just a second. I'm trying on some. Just a second. One of your microphones went down, Don. Okay, See how they filled in all this land here, or it's been filled in? Or that is correct. Up? I'm just sure that's correct. And so the blue line. If, if you might let me, uh, so the, see, I traced the blue line around here, and it kind of mm -hmm. went back like that. That's what it looked like to me, like, like that was water, and that was, you know, a buoy or oil. So that blue line is that same blue line. You that, bet. This is the shore. Yes, ma'am. So 41. that's the old shore in 1941. Mm -hmm. Is is my drafting? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. You want me to use a black pen, or what's what's best? Uh, just whatever colors you like. I'll let you grab one. You're a teacher. I don't have a blue, but there is at least a green. But black is fine, and uh, or orange or anything you like. Just just you just grab it, Mister. We're so happy just to be here with you. You're uh, well. Let's do a different. Yeah, you, you're a you've been a teacher so long. We hesitate to uh, to question you. To tell you about well, it. I, you, I hate to mark up this beautiful thing. Well, well and it only costs ten dollars. Oh. So it's you know it's worthwhile to have you write on okay. it. It's, it'll be worthwhile. I get it on the internet. You <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yes, ma'am. But how can you print it out? Where do you go? It's called Vista Print. They make a lot of business cards for people and. Uh, yeah, very reasonable posters. I even got a pretty good discount. That's amazing. It, yes. Yes. Well, of course, yeah. Yeah, it is wonderful for this. They have three sizes. This is the largest. And even the giant poster I'm going to do for the meeting mm -hmm. is still only a hundred bucks or so. Yeah, I've just forgotten. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know in which quarters the uh, uh, Tommy and Jimmy left. I... Yeah, so here's T and here's S. Mm -hmm. And bungalows and sure. Gee, these kids were so close down there. I know the guy that was in here. Oh wow! And his older brother. I think it really affected the older brother. His older brother has never been. I'm never quite right again. No, not quite right. Mm. Okay. So, so do you want me to start with? Sure. You were where and. Well, first of all, I guess mainly. Uh, this is our house. This is oh, well, I have a quick one for you. Okay. Can you show where the rope was where you swung out over the Oklahoma? Was that by the bungalows? Do you remember where that was at all? Oh, yeah, it was here. Thank you. Yeah, you can mark it. Please do, sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's the rope. Okay. Rope. On the swing. Go ahead and write rope on there for us, swing or something. And, and thank you, Miss Earl. This is so wonderful. We'll create a little artifact right now. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, and then we can probably go back, you know, and then then you guys would be playing in the dungeon and you were preparing the lemonade and, and your mom was getting so upset. <laughs> but then um, we might as well just go, yeah, December 7th, you guys are, you know, in, you're in your house, right? So maybe we could, you could draw out where all you guys had to run. And, and the other thing is, if you could please, uh, maybe we could draw where your dad was, if you even know, um, or you could at least tell us. We could put, it at, put places where your dad had to... Uh, to work those in the next couple of days, please. Well, he came out of here. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure he came out. He came out that door. Okay. First of all, I just wanted to talk about the things that were important to us as children at that time. And first was the school. Kenneth Whiting School it was run by the military. Grades kindergarten through sixth grade. Down here, right by this little notch. It's no longer there. It was, the school itself was torn down to um, turn over the Oklahoma. That's what my oh. dad said. That the, the caissons that they used to. And this was our house. This was our garage back here. This is the next quarters that was here set back. BOQ was here. The bachelor houses quarters was here. Uh, back here were the tennis courts and the swimming pool. And then our friends lived in these quarters along here. I believe Tommy and Jimmy could have been in this house. They were the... Uh, Admiral Bellinger was the big thing, the whole island, and then uh, Captain Shoemaker was in charge of a, lo a lesser command, but still a commanding officer. Uh, 